Dear students, in the last smart use, we have discussed about relational databases. And from today, we will start our discussion on object-oriented databases. So, you know, we have discussed previously object-oriented programming paradigm in which we talk about classes and objects. And in today's module, we will try to link object-oriented paradigm and the programming and backend databases in terms of objects and classes. So in object-oriented databases, database model is based on object-oriented paradigm. And database consisting of objects that are linked to each other to reflect their relationships. So we have talked about previously that one object will hold all of its characteristics and the functionalities as well within itself. So let's try to map the example of employee, which we were discussing in the relational database model, which have employee, their assignment, and their jobs. So we will have three type of objects. One is employee object, and that will contain employee ID, its name, address, and social security number. And the job, object will contain job ID, job title, skill code, and the department in which that employee is working. And the assignment object will contain the start date and the term date. So database model is based on the object-oriented paradigm. And let's try to uh, map the employee example in this slide. We have employees over here. So you can see there is one employee and there are three jobs available. So this job object contains the job related things and employee contain the employee related things. And the object assignment is creating a link between the employee and the job. So if you want to find that which employee is assigned to which job, you need to traverse from employee via assignment and you will reach until job and similarly if you want to see that which assignments have been given for a particular job you can traverse the reverse order so how such links are managed at the back end so the links are uh, between objects in an object oriented databases are normally maintained by the dbms so you are not supposed to create the links between the objects. You just need to say that I have created an object of employee and that object need to be connected with that particular kind of job. So at the back end, using pointers or using some other data structures which we have discussed in the previous modules, it is the responsibility of DBMS to create such link. So DBMS might link using list we studied in the last module. So there are two types of objects. One are called transient objects. So normally in object-oriented paradigm, when you create an object and you try to implement some uh, problem using object-oriented paradigm, so at the end, you try to throw all of the objects which are residing in the memory. Such objects are known as transient objects. However, in the object-oriented database model, we need to store such objects in secondary storage. So such objects are called persistent objects. So if we compare object-oriented database versus relational database model, so in object-oriented database model, entire software system, application software, the DBMS, and the database itself to be designed in the same paradigm. So this means at the lower level, the links will be managed using objects, using link list or some similar structure. And then the database storage would be based on objects and you will access that database into the application layer using some, applica using some object oriented programming paradigm like Java or C++. And in imperative paradigm, it was very difficult that relational database is queried by 
some imperative paradigm which is based on the functional paradigm so there is a problem that we have different kind of heterogeneous things and in object oriented paradigm or database model we have all of the things on the same level these are the homogeneous so let's summarize today's module we have tried to describe what is object oriented databases we have tried to map the same employee example which we were discussing in the relational databases and we have seen that how the links are managed what are the transient and persistent objects and what is the difference between object-oriented database and the relational database.